I'm Jenny Carlson here with Darnell Mayberry. We're at the peak where the Thunder have defeated the Pacers 104-93. Our Thunder coverage brought to you by Advent Heat Aaron Plumbing. They're on call 24-7 for Thunder fans. Darnell, by the score of this game, you'd think nice easy victory for the Thunder, but it definitely was not that. How did we get to the point where it was a double digit sort of cruise to victory win for these guys? Well, Scott Brooks said they came out flat. Uh, you know, they got up to a 13 point uh, advantage, 45-32 early in the second half, in the first half. Uh, but then they sort of let up a little bit. I think they start taking it to the rim and looking for contact instead of really just taking it, looking to finish plays. And I think that led to some bad shots. They started looking for calls. All of a sudden, we had a ball game on our hands. The Pacers clawed their way back. Uh, and then the bench unit had to come in and really uh, ignite this team and, 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 and really put, push that lead out again. And I think they did a good job. You have to look at Kevin Martin, what he did. He was big tonight. Kevin Martin was huge without him. They might not be in this game, but late in this game, they win. They stretch it out in large part because of the stars, the guys we always talk about. But let's start with Kevin Durant. He just really seemed to take over, as we've seen him do. Did you just... Did you see the same thing I did, sort of that, almost that moment when he thought, all right, Kevin Durant's now taking over. Yeah, at one point, I mean, Kevin Durant was maybe 4 of 18 tonight, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and he just kind of finished the game. He, he had a sound bite in Chicago earlier this season where he went over to Scott Brooks after making a big shot against the Bulls and said, I'm there for, I'm there for you when you need me, right? And that's sort of what he was tonight. He was there for the Thunder when he needed them. And Russell Westbrook, we can't forget about him, huge block on Roy Hibbert, chased down still against David West, as Scott Brooks said, those plays really changed the tide and ignited this Thunder team and carried them to victory. Scott Brooks talked before the game about how good defensively Indiana was. Turns out his guys are okay defensively. You talk about Kevin Durant coming through when they need him. Was it sort of the same with the defense? Because they weren't great early on, but boy, when, when it came time to sort of you know, do what needed to be done, that defense was there. Yeah, and they said Scott Brooks kind of lit into him at halftime, and uh, they were giving up better than 50% uh, shooting to the Pacers uh, at the half. And uh, in the second half, they came out and really tried to buckle down uh, and held them to, to, you know, below 50 points and below 50% shooting. So the defense really turned it around. They buckled down and got it together in the second half. All right. Let's hear what the Thunder coaches and players had to say after this win over Indiana. You know, when you have the Lakers in town Friday night, the excitement was in the building. Our players, you know, that's, that's always a fun game when you play the Lakers. It's not like it's I – mean, I'm not saying it's more important when we play the Lakers. All games are important. But I was – it was a little concerned. I was a little concerned with an emotional letdown. But our guys fought through it and came back. And our second unit came back and gave us some good energy when our starters didn't have it. And that's what teams do. Sometimes your starters are going to have everything from the start, and sometimes they're not. And that's why you have a, that's why you have a team. And I believe in all of our guys. They step in and made made a difference in that first half, and then the second half, the defensive intensity picked up. Um, and we, we didn't want to be sluggish like the you know, Lakers game where we uh, we, were, we had a lead and we kind of let them come back. We learned from that in uh, this time and show. Yeah, you know, I think I was just too excited after my Redskins won today. <laughs> you know, I wasn't really focused on the game, I guess. But, you know, I, I don't know, man. It's, it's, you know, you go through games like that throughout the whole season. That, you know, your energy is not there to start. But I think it's how you finish. And I think we did a really good job of just bouncing back from that, playing hard. Coach really got after us, and that's what we needed. The Thunder continues this homestand, Darnell. That's a five-game homestand. Still got three left. It's really a chance to get some momentum continuing to build for these guys. How important are these next few games? Well, they're on an eight-game winning streak now, uh, 11 straight games of 100 points or more. And now you have the New Orleans Hornets coming to town. Uh, they've already beaten them twice. Then after that, it's the Sacramento Kings. They're struggling. And then it's the San Antonio Spurs. So you look at being at least 19-4 and four on a 10-game winning streak going into that Spurs game. It's going to be a huge game. So uh, I think they're going to have to really just focus in on not having a letdown in these next two games against the Hornets and Kings, and then we can look forward to that San Antonio game. Monumental game. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.